Thanks for staying with us. So to, today, we want to bring up an issue that many <clears throat> married women are going through. So a woman posted on her page saying that, does looking good and paying attention to yourself mean that you're cheating on your spouse? And let me give you a bit of a foundation. This is somebody who obviously is beautiful and um, she's doing well. She earns, well. she earns a good salary, possibly more than her spouse. You know, and she wants to look good and feel good. But looking good to her spouse means she's still selling markets or she's still putting herself out there and she's still trying to attract other people. And she's having that um, conflict of um, personality. Am I, am I, should I look good for my spouse alone? Or can I look good because I'm just a woman and I feel like looking good? That's our conversation today. You can share your thoughts with us. You can call us on 081-270-53687 and also 091-390-76948. You can also send us messages on Facebook and YouTube. We'll definitely read your messages. All right, Nima, let me start with you because, um, I mean, I wanted to hear your thoughts on this. Everybody says, you're young, look good, don't look old, don't look... And you want to look fine. Your husband was still... Why are you dressing up? Why are you going out looking like that? And I'm thinking... They are confused. What exactly do you want a woman to do? Well, that's the school that me I am. So you're married. You don't. You don't um, display. <laughs> you're done open market. When you're done with open market, you're not in a private arrangement, and you protect the interests of your partner, partner or party mm. in that arrangement. So if you you like to look good, dress good, once the door is locked, you can start to do it. Ah. But some women would invest so much when they're going out, and once they come in. Fling that, fling this, and you just look like somebody's mother <laughs> inside the house. That's the look you can go out with. If you want to look corporate, it's a different matter, but <clears throat> not dress to kill, dress to look good. When your partner is not there, it's good. The man is asking, exactly what are you marketing? Yeah. That's so, all. BC, what, what are your thoughts on this? Because, I mean, it's people like you, personal development coaches who tell us, you know, you kind of look good. You have to, you know, you have to dress the way you want to be impressed. I mean, I mean address. Address. All these kind of things, these motivational speakers tell us all the time. And yet, we do that. And our spouses are feeling threatened by yeah. our look. So I, I think it's unfair that we don't expect people to love themselves and take care of themselves because they are in quotes in marriage. I think it's very unfair. And I think it's time that we start putting ourselves in people's shoes. Why do you do what you do? What's the intention behind how you're looking? If you're someone who likes to look good all the time, are you looking good because you want somebody else to say hello to you even after you're married? Or you're looking good because looking good makes you feel good? So I think it's the husband's responsibility to find out why, since he has a problem with his wife looking good, because I know some men that you have to look hot. They are proud of you when you look hot. They make you, they buy the things and make you look. Sometimes when I dress up and I'm stepping out, my husband will be hailing me. His head is swelling. Like, ah, ah. He will say, turn around, turn around, turn around. Ah, am I the one that married this man? <laughs> you know, when he was doing his own uh, photo shoot and he, he just wore one white dancheki, like when he stepped down, I was like, ha! Oh, I started praying for him. I was impressed the way he was looking. Because it's a thing of pride that you have someone who is willing to look after themselves. A lot of people go to therapy because they've not learned the art of taking care of themselves. It's a process, self-care. And then the children come, you focus all the attention, and before you know it, you wear out, you are depressed, you become resentful as you are getting older. If the man has insecurities, he should discuss with his wife. Why are you looking? No, yes, now, Before tell your wife. Insecurity what my insecurity child. issue? Wait, because he feels okay, so you are wait, looking first. good. Wait, let wait, me land, though. He feels you are looking good mm -hmm. because you are still selling market so that somebody else will admire you because he's afraid that the wife is bigger than him. Mm. He's insecure. No, no, no. So wait. I think that we should stop, um, we should stop take, letting women take responsibility for a man's insecurities and we should stop blaming the wife for a man's inability to appreciate his wife. Mm. You know, um, Many, many times, what we, what we see happen is people are scared. They are scared that they cannot handle the woman, mm. that they are not pleasing the woman, mm. and they are unable to um, satisfy her. Mm. So if I know that I have satisfied my wife, I have handled my wife, I have taken care of her, 
Even if she's looking drop dead gorgeous, when she goes out, what can you tell her that I've not told her? I, so hey, what can you do? Fair. What can you do? You cannot do anything. Mm. I have already finished her. I finished like, what? I have, I have filled her cup to the brim. Full to overflow. It's overflowing. Hey. So there's nothing. But when men do, when, when a lot of men are Inadequate. doubting, yes, they mm. doubt themselves. Mm. When they see their package that God has blessed them with, they are now scared that somebody will steal their blessing. Hey. It's your blessing. Nobody will steal your Walk. blessing. Nobody can Cherish take your blessing. Okay. Cherish your package and then you are not under any threat from another man. You Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we you went to the do, root of the matter. You, no, which root? Insecurity. So <laughs> not the who, I'm sure both of you would have dressed up one time or the other. Maybe just a little bit too much. And not, no, just a little bit yes. too much. They no, they yes, they said this. Just yes. a little bit You're too much. My, oh, no, and where does it mean that they're insecure? No, it's not in my house. So the kind of dressing that I draw inside, I do not dress it outside. And your own is different. No, this is forget the religion. Even me, in my mind, I know. And now that I am Mrs. Muhammad Zibiri, I dare not dress it outside. I will not even dare it. The kind of things I do inside. My, my, my auntie, my neighbor that I visited, she was looking at me while I was cooking the night. Ah, she you at Boju. Imagine it was my husband thinking, where are you going? Mm. With what I was doing. Hey, hey, but it also so depends on your occasion. But some women overdo it. Yeah. So There's a line when you're married. Mm. You know you the interest you protect as a single girl? It's your interest. 110% you don't owe nobody. But when you have signed that dotted line, you calm down on some things. You don't have your, you don't need your man to tell you his interest at this point, something is shaking it. You want to look good because you're hundred percent selfish, you concern, you'll be concerned about what he thinks. Yeah. It is a, it is exempted for those whose husband say, I want to display you, you are my ornament to mm. the world. Mm. But if your husband has some reservations about it, respect him. Because it's the same thing that some women don't know. You are with your husband, or your husband cannot provide certain lifestyle. Okay. You're asking me, your ex-boyfriend to provide the lifestyle for you. No, something. No, that let, let, let me go on a break. I, I, you see, there's a thin line here. Because yeah. If your husband met you sexy, looking hot, thank you, and then you get to get to the marriage, I says, and like, now yeah, he wants you to be Everything. That's where the conflict is. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We'll be oh, right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this conversation, and we'd definitely like to hear from our viewers. Don't forget to call us on 081-270-53687, 091-390-76948. You can also send messages on YouTube and Facebook. Now, so still on this issue, there, as I said during the break, a young girl, you look a certain way, attractive, you use your weave, your hair, you take care of your skin, you do all those things, the man sees you, he likes you, falls in love with you, and then wants to keep you in the house separately from everything else. So he, he's, he wants to change who you are, who mm. he saw you to be, into somebody else. <laughs> and this lady say, saying, listen, this is who I am. I like mm. to look good outside. I like to take care of myself, my skin. And so so why joke. do men have that problem with their women wanting to look good there, outside? There, there's this joke that um, if you want a born again, if you, you know that you can go to MFM, mm. you can go to Deeper Light, mm. you will see them. Mm. You will see single babe that mm. is like in Nima, like this, cover everything. <laughs> you did not marry her. Mm -mm. You see the one that her nails, very short, you did not marry her. You mm. now saw the one that has long nails, mm. long lashes. Orange color. So, uh, wearing everything. You now marry that finish and say, I want to turn her to nails. a Nima. She should wear long dress. Mm -mm. That is very, very wrong. Wicked. You should choose the one that suits you, the one you can live with the long <laughs> term. Don't try to start transforming mm. babe on the street to babe in church. Let me mm. agree with you. But the one that you now married from those places that you mentioned, that now come to your house, I just discover herself because this is you self discovery. <laughs> <laughs> she now discover herself mm -hmm. and says that your interest is beautiful. Matter. And when they were taking the vow, you were saying for better, for worse, your interest, my interest, I love you to death, do part. You don't know that you will love his interest and all of that. It's not about you alone. When it comes to marriage, it's, you, in fact, you doesn't exist again. It's us as one. Let me take this call. Come to the <laughs> okay. Good morning. Are you there? Hello. Oh, we we lost that. Go ahead, so please. I think there are two issues here. Let, let's not join them. There are people who, in the course of marriage, start, you know, bloom. Yes, they begin to discover like themselves. Where? Yes, begin to discover. You said you bloom. Yes, you now you are blooming. You, you are discovering you yourself and all of that. So at that point, it's a different conversation that you need to find a way to carry your spouse along. What we are talking about is those ones that feel your shine is too much. Mm. It's burning us, and they want to use basket to cover it. Cover it. Pick who is your spec. You see them, because the truth is, most of this time, we, we hear women pretend, women pretend. They don't pretend, they show you the signs. But you see the one you want to see in your head, 
once she comes in, I can control her. I can change her to be what I want her to be. You have no right to do that. It's unfair. Let's take um, the um, Kanye West and the, what's her name? Kim. Kim. Kim Kardashian. You know, they started, it was even Kanye that helped build Kim the way she was and her brand restructured to make her brand a sexy brand. Then he gave his life to Christ all of a sudden. And then he started talking to her, I, you are showing too much, I don't like. Immediately I saw that first video where he complained about her dressing and everything. I knew the marriage was going to hit the rocks because one person had evolved to a different direction from how they started. And it would be unfair to push the other person when they are not ready for it. So let us call a spade a spade. If you know what you like from the beginning, that is all those ones like that one. Bobby used to fly up and down, please marry that one. <laughs> Yeah. And take when they really mean anything. No, no, no. It seems like it's flying up and down. Buy brown. No, no, no. It's not about buying brown. No, no, no. no. It's not about buying brown. There's another perspective that yeah, yeah, you are open up to markets. Mm. And then when you, you have already, the market has been bought. You, mm. you cover up. it. No, the yeah. truth is, you think they are, buy, they are opening up to markets. They are not. This is who they are. Oh. That's it. That's because where we like live. We feel exhibitionists. Exactly. Okay, we, feel, we feel there are people who just want to buy market. This is who they are. Even after they, you have bought them inside, they will still open because Be it's their style. You've not married somebody that's not wife material. <laughs> let me let me take this call. Yeah, uh, uh, Antonia, are you there? Thanks for calling. Oh, 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 sorry, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Why are you losing there? Okay, let's try to take them. But you see, okay. I want, I want us to have some kind of learning from this conversation mm -hmm. because there are women. There's a woman right now complaining. And she's not looking overly, uh, she's not friends. selling the market. Yeah. She's not trying to sell market. Just she's married, she respects her husband. She's packaging herself properly. But the man, as we insecure said, is insecure. Mm. But when a man is insecure, the question therefore is that if you know your spouse is insecure, can you tone down your dressing and appearance you for should. his sake? Or hey. do you still be yourself? Because it is you. Let me ask a question. Hey. Be yourself. Dress good. Let's define what dressing good looks mean. It's relative. What, what is being yourself? It's relative. Uh, what dressing good is not exhibition. And I'm dressing good. Dressing good is not exhibition. Wait. 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 So women are not wife material at all. Dressing good is not. Me, 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 it's me, not that wearing you cannot wear. And exactly. I'm dressing good. She's just leaving. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's go. I can wear what you're wearing. Let me wear your house. Can you wear what she's wearing? She can wear it inside her house. But not outside. No, please. The first thing you. Let's deal with the issue. Pause. 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 Let me take this. I don't want to lose the call. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you there? Oh, ah, that, there's 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 yeah, there's so the ahead. first issue is dealing with an insecure man. There's no longer I in a relationship. There's no longer I want to look good for myself in a relationship. And mm -hmm. I've heard that word many times. Mm -hmm. People sometimes have used it in my marriage. Mm -hmm. it, I'm not dressing for me anymore when I'm married. I'm dressing for us. We are no longer, I'm no longer one individual. I'm now a part one. of the, yes, we are one. How I look reflects on him. Mm. How he looks reflects on me. Yeah, yeah. So I want him to look good so I can be proud of him. And I have to look good so he's proud of me. Mm -hmm. If my look is embarrassing him, then I must change the That's way I'm all. looking. Yeah. Stop that it. is one. No, I like so, one. so if your husband is insecure, mm. he's yes. insecure. I tone to... down. You can call it yes. insecure. It's insecure. It's insecure. It's insecure. Some, some so if your husband is insecure, so you can tone down for his sake. Yes. And yes. help him deal with the issue is the, he has. Mm. The issue of insecurity will not be changed if I keep flaunting my confidence in front of him. Mm. Uh -huh. I now need to work on his insecurity, get him advice, get him a counselor, get him a coach, mm. so that he would, I would boost him to the point where he now say that, I know you used to like dressing good before, you used to like these long weave ones. I wasn't comfortable mm. with it, but now I'm comfortable enough in myself to let you shine. Yeah. We must be able to move men in that direction right. when we see them there. But if your goal is to keep your marriage, then you must find a way to compromise for things to work. Uh -huh. I, I like the Nima is going yes, to. Yes, I like. I like. Cool. Yes, we are not together. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, part of compromise because that's what marriage is all about. Mm. You are supposed to understand each other and find ways to. You meet me halfway. I meet you halfway. However, there's a thin line between that and having somebody just change your whole life. Because I've seen people who, because they you know, cut it. They cut from here, they cut from there. They cut. One person is the one constantly doing the compromising. And at the end of the day, they say, whoa, I've lived all my life like you. Mm. I can no longer stand mm. it. Mm. So for us to avoid that, mm. first is to find somebody that is your spec. Mm. So that at least you know anywhere you are going to, you know how you are working mm. it. Second, if you have found that person and you realize that her shine is too much, she's showing off and all of that, Explain to her the reasons why you feel she should tone down and get her to that place where she agrees to tone down. Don't lord it over her to say, because I'm the man of this house and I feel you are cheating or right. something and something, Let you are take, going to do it this way. Let me take this call from David. David, are you there? Hello, David. I think our phones are. Hello, David, are you there? Any comments from Facebook?
Okay, let's talk about compromise because I mean, compromise. Let me let me let me discuss compromise for a second because I know that there are a lot of things I had compromised as a person, as a woman, because for for marriage sake. So recently, I <laughs> so my husband was um, singing some songs that I used to sing before I got married. I mean, these are the kind of songs that I used to like. These are um, R and B songs that. When I, when I initially got married, you may look as if R&B is not even, don't even, don't even try any R&B here. He doesn't like R&B. You only like this kind of a pop. Doesn't do R&B, doesn't do anything, anything that was just Secular rap. somehow, yeah. His own was pop, 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 pop. And because I was compromising, like, because in the house, I wanted to play these songs. He didn't allow me to play these songs. He wanted to play his kind of songs. So I compromised and allowed you know, his songs. But now we've been 10 years in marriage, and he sings all this R&B, and I think, ah, so, so you know, when did changed. you? So you know R and B. <laughs> so you know this song. You know, and it's okay. I used to say, ah, why did you pretend as if you did not like those songs? So it's now me. I want to now come back fully. Yeah. But as a woman, when you say compromise, was it right for me to allow him to have his way, or should I have insisted? Well, no, I like R and B. We are going to play R and B in this house. That's the conversation I want to also have. Like yeah. compromise. How how far is? Too far. Yes. Compromising because, in marriage. Yes. So, so I've realized that over. Time. Oh, is a phone call. Can I have a phone call? Good morning. Are you there? Finally. Hello. Are you there? Please don't listen to your TV. Listen to me. Okay. Hello. Are you there? I have to go on a break. Yeah. Good morning. Please turn down the TV and listen to me. Thank you. How are you? Yes. Good. Would you like to contribute? Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. And, and I really like, uh, appreciate your topic today. Thank you, sir. But one thing I want us to understand is that there's no perfect guy or perfect lady outside. We all work on ourselves. And if we are working on ourselves, and I trust, if I trust my wife and there's security, she can dress anyhow that suits me. At times, if she is dressing and the dressing is not good enough for me, the way I want her to do, I can just adjust that. So why don't you put it this way and make sure you are decent outside? Because one thing is that no matter how you are rich, you're supposed to show from your wife the outfit and everything. And the mistake which we guys are making is that if my wife cannot please me with a dress the way I like, I will start looking outside. So instead of me going outside, why can't I put that thing I want outside in half so that I won't be able to look outside? Then there will be a perfect trust, and I will make sure I'm secure. Thank you. That Thank you. Thing. All right, let me go on a quick break. <laughs> when we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back.